Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, Kamawa. Good evening everyone. And uh, yeah, we've officially hit 1,000 subscribers here on this channel. And honestly, this has been a very, very, very long journey for me. I have been uploading for 6 years on this channel, and it took that long to finally hit 1,000 subs. Now I did promise that I would do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and I will, but I'm going to save that for next Tuesday, because this video I really just want to celebrate and thank everybody for 1,000 subscribers. So let's talk about that. So there have been a lot of other Tarantula YouTube channels that have been uploading for much lesser time than I have, and they've already hit the 1,000 subscriber milestone. So in comparison to those other channels, my progress has been very slow in terms of growth. But that's honestly okay, because I don't really plan on making YouTube my full-time career. And as I stated, even though I'm very knowledgeable and very experienced when it comes to Tarantula and Tarantula breeding, it is not a full-time you know, career that I want to pursue. While I do see it as a secondary or a passive income, I still do not desire to make it my full-time income or a full-time career. And that includes YouTube as well. So I really hope that a lot of people don't think that I'm trying to make YouTube my full-time career. I'm truly satisfied with what I have and I'm just thankful to be on this journey. But speaking of journey, I really want to discuss about that as well. So when it comes to my tarantula YouTube journey, honestly, I find it kind of monotonous. Because by the time a lot of people, actually, by the time I started making videos on YouTube, I was pretty much already a tarantula breeder that pretty much already done most of everything. Breeding tarantulas, working with other breeders and vendors and businesses. I've done retail, wholesale. The only thing I haven't done is pretty much just importing tarantulas. But honestly, I could take it or leave it at this point. But essentially though, by the time I started my YouTube journey, I was pretty much a tarantula breeder that done most of everything that they could in this hobby. And this also affected my content when I started making videos on YouTube. I find that when it comes to making content on YouTube, when it comes to the tarantula, you know, YouTubers, I find that the ones that are more interesting are the ones that start from the beginning and slowly work their ways up and becoming, you know, an expert or an experienced tarantula breeder and pretty much that learning curve. But to all you viewers, when I started my channel, I was already pretty much done and did. So essentially, you didn't really get to see my journey coming up. You only saw my end product. Basically seeing an experienced tarantula breeder already doing what they do. And I know a lot of people may find that to be interesting, seeing what an experienced tarantula keeper or breeder looks like. But to me, honestly, it kind of takes the wind out of things in a way. Because sometimes I do find that the journey is more interesting than the destination. And I honestly wish that I could have done something to show you the progress of me coming up. Because that was a very interesting, and honestly, now that I look back on it, it was a very fun time. And although I did get into a bit of bickering back and forth with, you know, my instructor who was teaching me, I still did find it very enjoyable. But I really do hope that my, uh, my end result, basically, which is this YouTube channel, isn't so monotonous or so boring. Because I'm at a point where I'm trying to reduce my collection and trying to, I don't want to say start over, but somewhat like a soft reboot. And I really hope that all my viewers, whether you're a longtime viewer or a new viewer, I hope everyone stays around because <laughs> I'm truly thankful for this journey. And I'm surprised that I'm still uploading after six years. And I don't really have my videos up from my first year of uploading because that's when I was using my old camera. But looking back on it and looking back on things now, I've come a very long way. And I truly want to thank everybody for this long journey. And reaching 1,000 subs after, you know, six years, it's, uh, I think a lot of people would have given up by then. But I just kept uploading because I really just uploaded things I find interesting or things that happen in my collection or videos I just enjoy in general. So when it came to YouTube, I was already winning because I was uploading content I enjoy and I didn't really care about the viewers or the subscriber numbers or whatever because a lot of people kept saying I was underrated, I deserve more subs, more views, but uh, whatever, right? <laughs> that's a, Man, that's really funny to say, but thank you everyone for 1,000 subscribers and let's see how long it takes to reach 2,000 subscribers. And as I stated earlier in this video, I will do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway on Tuesday, next Tuesday that is. So stay tuned for that. And with that everyone, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. 
I'm truly and forever grateful. And uh, yeah. And with that, stay lax and lax out from the Kumo Sensei.